here guys the supreme court's judgment which on friday declined to order the release of the embattled leader of the indigenous people of biafra ipob namdi kanu from detention he isn't sitting comfortably with Biafra agitator Simon Ekpa. On Friday, December 15, 2023, the APIS court in a judgment delivered by Justice Emmanuel Agim, but written by Justice Karaba Lara, voided and set aside the judgment of the Court of Appeal, which in October last year ordered Kanu's release and quashed quash the terrorism charges against him. Supreme Court held that although the Nigerian government recklessly and unlawfully renditioned Nnamdi Kano from Kenya, such an unlawful act has not divested any court from proceeding with trial. Justice Lawa said that no Nigerian law was cited in the suit seeking Kano's release on male unlawful abduction from Kenya, adding that at the moment, the remedy for such action is for Nnamdi Kano to file a civil matter against such art instead of removing the powers of court to continue with his trial for alleged criminal charges. The Apis court subsequently ordered that Kanu should go and defend himself in the remaining seven counts of terrorism charges against him. Reacting to this amid his hope of Nandi Kanu's freedom, on Friday, Simon Ekba vowed to force the release of the IPOB leader, noting that the Biafra government is the only hope of Kanu's freedom. Ekba said it will happen in due time. In his words, I watch from, from the mirror before they finish planning. I know it wouldn't, it would, it wouldn't have been a miracle. If, some, if something else happened, though after I exposed their plan to adjoin the case till February, they changed it slightly last night which is on Thursday, the Biafra government is the only hope of Mazinam the Kano freedom, and it will happen in due time. Meanwhile, Honorable Ikenga Imo Gochinere, the spokesperson for the correlation of opposition lawmakers, expressed sadness over the Supreme Court's denial of justice to Nam the Kano the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, despite declaring his abduction in Kenya and house invention in Lega in the same judgment. Representing here to federal constituency of Imo State in the House of Representatives, Ugo Chinyere made this statement regarding the Supreme Court judgment on Nandikano's issued on Friday. The Supreme Court overturned a lower court judgment that dismissed its terrorism charges against Kano. The Appeals Court deemed the court of appeal decision as error wrong, stating that the trial court could not produce pro, 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 proceed because the prosecution evaluated uh, Kano's right. Justice Garaba Mohammed, in the prepared judgment, condemned the invention of Kanu's resident, deeming it irresponsible. The court ascertained that there is no way in the, in the country preventing a trial based on the valuation of a suspect's right. It added that Kanu could file a civil case against such actions instead of stripping the court of their power to continue with is trial for alleged criminal charges. Ugo Chinyere, in a statement released in Abuja, lamented that given the Supreme Court decision to, to send the matter back to the Federal High Court, Kano would be filling a fresh uh, bail application there. It would be indeed sad and painful 
watching the Supreme Court on Friday denying Nam the Kanu freedom, even after he declared his Kenya abduction and house invention illegal in the same judgment. Hence, declaring such treatment against him illegal. One expects that the Appeals Court could have served him justice by allowing the judgment of the Court of Appeal and upholding his discharge and acquittal. Again, one was also expecting that they accept the prayers of his counsel, Mike Ozeko Mersan, that the court dismisses the appeal filed by the federal government with punity costs and uphold the cross appeal in order to do substantial justice to his to this matter as his client Namdekano has been in custody since june twenty nine, twenty twenty one, he said. The lawyer and the lawmaker also argued uh, urged President Bola Tinubu to utilize his constitutional authority to intervene, thereby bringing an end to the, the, to the case in the pursuit of peace, reconciliation, and unity. This appeal is particularly relevant to the Southeast Zone, and such intervention is seen as beneficial to enhancing the security uh, framework of the region. Nigeria presently is containing with contending with terrorism in the northeast, farmers, elders, clashes, and banditry in the north central, adoptions and armed attacks in the southwest, restiveness and attacks by unknown gunmen in the southeast, and adoptions, courts, court wars, vandalization of oil installations and oil thieves in the south south region. Kano can help tackle insecurity in the southeast. That is why those who want the confusion in the region and the Imo states in particular to continue will always not we always add nothing to make sure he does not get justice and be freed. So I therefore appeal to President Bola Metinu to show fatherly introception by intervening for this discontinuation of this process using the constitutional powers in the interest of peace, reconciliation, and unity, especially in this season of Christmas and New Year, when forgiveness is the when forgiveness is the is the real thing. Okay, that was a uh, So, guys, what's your take on all this now? Kindly share your t your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.